Welcome to Barbell Brigade. I'm Gio. I'm Bart. And I'm losing my neck. <laughs> but I'm losing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. No neck. Too much traps here. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm gonna stay like this the whole show. All right, Lou. Yes. How do you feel about people with calluses? You know what? I'm not gonna lie. When I first started lifting, I used to wear gloves all the time, and I would like invest in like really cool gloves with like a strap around and like Dang. thickness. And like, like harbingers? Yes, those I are the those best. Ones. The black ones? Yeah. With the they came in like a beige too. You know what he used to use? Yeah. The gardening like. Oh no, you didn't! I don't know why though. I don't know why. I don't know why. This is back in the days when like uh, people you got that like, chill, like, the old school powerlifters. Yeah. They would get like a denim flannel, uh -huh. and then they would cut the sleeves off. You mean you mean inmates? Kind of. <laughs> you know, hats, so they look like you know the old school like um like muscle and fitness magazine. Yeah. And then they they, they cut With off the, the flannel. shirts. Yeah, t shirts. Okay, I know what you're talking about. And then, so the, the big dudes at my gym, all yeah. of them wore like the leather working gloves. Uh huh. So they would be like, don't get those harbingers, they're fucking for pussies. Real get men. Those worker gloves. Get work, worker gloves. And <laughs> cheaper and yeah, last longer. So I was like, oh shit. So that's when I started using those and I really yeah. liked them. Dude, I even had like the wrist uh, straps too. And like, I would. Walk around with them all the time because I thought it was so cool. Why would you? Why would or why would? Well, yeah. Why would you guys buy it? Um. Well, I bought it because I'm just like, oh well, you know, I'm just starting at the gym. Like the steel's gonna hurt my hands, and like I better be careful with my hands. Oh, so you didn't want it to hurt you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about you? What Lame. You Same thing. Well, like I think um, when I first started lifting, everyone had them on. And it just looks cool. Like yeah. me and all my friends would be in the parking lot at like Valley's yeah. or. So there was no hour. function for you. No, no. It was, it was just like it's like it's like Halloween. It's like you go to the gym and you turn into a beast. Yeah, now you put beast the stuff mode on. Activated. You put How the stuff on. Funny. And you when it's out, whip it out. And then you walk Strap into the gym and you're like, and you feel tough, like it's ready for work. I've Dude. never ever felt that. For me, it was more like. I guess I was being more practical because I'm a female uh -huh. and I was always really self-conscious to have like yeah. calluses on my hands uh -huh. and I'm like dude if someone shakes my hands or at that time I was also like single so I'm like fuck I don't want a guy to like hold my hand and then feel like man hands. Yeah. But now you don't give a fuck. I don't, Hell no. These are, these are, these are battle scars. Yeah. Like I earned these calluses. Like yeah. I'm so proud of my calluses now but yeah. in the beginning I'm like oh I don't want to do that. But see people don't understand that like at our, our gym we're used to knowing that like oh like calluses is cool like somebody like ripped off their entire skin and he looked like two faced because of how much Bloody. what he was lifting and how much skin he ripped off so I was like is that the two face wait is that his name from two face yeah yeah, okay, yeah just kidding testing yeah. Um, but yeah like to us it's normal but at a commercial gym it's gonna be like oh like I'm gonna get my gloves and just like you you said like I thought it was a beast I'm like I'm gonna lift these 25 pounds for the Eight reps, you know. I was like, oh. Well, I mean, I understand people that aren't as like active in the sport as we are, because mm -hmm. we take it as like an additional job, because we're just so into yeah. it. Yeah. But like, I understand people that go to commercial gyms and like do it like occasionally, because it does hurt your hand, and then there's like knurling and stuff. Yeah. And if your hand's not used to it, it really does get fucked up immediately, it especially does. for females. Yeah. So I, I get it, but then what I've noticed was after a while, even though I'm wearing my gloves, I still get calluses because I'm working out so oh, much. Oh, because it loosens up. Yeah. It, so it, you know what I used to do? It starts rubbing on it, This is yeah. my favorite thing. I would put on my favorite song. It's like death metal or something. Did you have like the iPod arm no. thing? No. I did. I kind of want put one. It, right I put it on my hand <laughs> and I would pull the glove like this and I would wiggle the fingers and make sure it's tight. And I strap on the Velcro really tight and I feel like a beast and I pull the other one and I go like this. And then I yeah. go bench. And you know how retarded I was? I would deadlift and put my Harbinger gloves on with the wrap, with that little Velcro um, yeah. strap, and then I would put my wrist wraps on and I would try oh to deadlift. Oh my dead god! <laughs> your hands must have been the whitest yeah. part of your body. Because when did you guys make the change to not wearing gloves? So for me, it was because I realized, like, oh fuck, I'm getting calluses anyway. So mm -hmm. because that's why I got them, I'm like, dude, it yeah. defeats the purpose anyway. So I'm just gonna throw them out. And then as soon as I started just feeling the bare bar on my hands. Yeah. I actually had a better grip and I'm yeah. like, oh, I feel so much more connected with the weight and I'm like, fuck it. Of course, I think you get a better feel of it. it I, I think it's I was doing uh, incline like four plates one time warm up. Probably. Sounds yeah, normal. sounds that about sounds, right. That sounds normal. But you know, I was a little tired and I was just like, man, I hate these fucking gloves because I can't really feel the bar. I can't, you can't really feel like the weight of the, of the bar. So like once you get your skin on it, like you can understand it a lot better. So you're more cautious with it. But once I kind of went to a powerlifting gym, that's when I was more okay with 
using chalk and I was yeah. like, what? Chalk? It's gonna be messy. Cause I had that commercial gym mentality, you know. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. they're so worried about keeping it clean and they're like, oh, we don't want chalk here. You guys gotta use gloves and straps. And I think that's also kind of with like, the whole commercial gym uh, mindset is like, oh, everybody wears gloves too, so I might as well get some too. Yeah, it becomes fashionable. It becomes, yeah, it's like a trend that everybody starts to follow, but you don't have to use gloves. There's mm -hmm. liquid chalk too. Yeah. 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 Once you start getting the calluses, there's no turning back. Just lose the gloves. Yeah, your, your hands get used to it. You just you have to be patient about it. Like, it's going to tear up a lot, especially when you start getting into like the 900 pound deadlift area. Yeah. You know? Are you, you're very familiar with that? Yeah, all the time. Oh, okay. The reps. And for my lady out there and just for you guys that don't want to feel like calluses what I do like at least once a week is I'll get a pumice stone and I just file it down and my mine have never torn and they're not like really crazy are on juice oh they're juicy yeah they wrote those programs for athletes on juice. Uh -huh. Well, we're on juice. And when they used to train, like you know how you all like squat, bench, and then squat again? Yeah. A lot of those guys, since those guys are full-time lifters, they squeeze in lunch in between. 